Hi, I'm Doug Pat, and this is the final episode in the How to Draw Like an Architect series, Part 6, Scale. The best way to discuss scale is using something of a constant size. That will be our 24 by 36 piece of paper, juxtaposed with something that's changing. That will be our scaled drawing. The scale of a drawing is the size at which it's being displayed. Scale is read by the viewer as a way to interpret the size of a drawing and its components in relation to full size. Contrary to many places in the world, the U.S. still uses imperial units of measurement, or yards, feet, and inches. This is an architect scale. This one has three sides and 12 distinct scales. This side shows inches, which is also called full scale. It can also be used as a 1 16th scale, as well as a 3 16th and 3 32nd scale. That means that 1 16th of an inch, 3 16th of an inch, and 3 32nds of an inch equal 1 foot 0 inches. The next side has four scales, 1 8th inch and 1 quarter inch, as well as a half inch and 1 inch. And the last side also shows four scales, 3 8 inch and 3 quarter inch, as well as 1 and a half inches and 3 inches. After the site plan, one of the first drawings you'll typically see in an architectural set is the floor plan. Floor plans are typically drawn at 8 scale or the larger quarter scale. Elevations are also typically shown at those same scales. In a drawing set, they should match so they coordinate visually. A wall section is drawn at a larger scale, so more detail can be shown, typically at half inch, three quarter inch, or one inch. Finally, these details are shown at a larger one and a half inch scale, so that even more detail can be drawn. It's clear that doubling the size of the three quarter inch wall section allows the architect to show more detail and more notes. At the end of the day, the objective for architectural drawings is to convey the proper information at the proper scale in order to clearly define the job to be completed. See you next time.